I think implementing something like the World Bank recommend recommendations for further reform of the Chinese economy is going to be formidable. There are so many vested interests in continuing public ownership of those enterprises. But this is what we talk about. This is the narrative of our time. Can China democratize? Can there be a wave of significant economic reform? But our position as a government <clears throat> is that we welcome and want China's rise. The Asia Century White Paper said we welcome China's rise, not just because of the economic and social benefits it's brought China's people and the region, including Australia, but because it deepens and strengthens the entire international system. But we'll, talk, we'll keep talking about how it will develop, develop, what character it will assume, and how China projects itself. I remember, I remember Bill Clinton saying years ago, it must have been in his first term, that the future will be largely determined by how, by how China chooses to express its greatness. And I thought it one of those Clintonism, Clintonisms that rings very true. And in this little book that I found very enjoyable, Lee Kuan Yew, a collection of the Singaporeans observations and insights on China, the US and the world, I found a quote that really goes to the heart of this, that develops that Clinton idea. Lee Kuan Yew said, quote, peace and security in the Asia Pacific will turn on whether China emerges as a xenophobic chauvinistic force bitter and hostile to the West because it tried to slow down or abort its development, that is the West tried to slow down or abort China's development, or educated and involved in the ways of the world, more cosmopolitan, more inter internationalized and outward looking. So that's quite, that's quite penetrating. Pitched by someone who's observed China with marked sympathy and who can be critical of some of the American approaches to China while wanting to see a positive American engagement with the world. And we can pick over the evidence. I think the evidence of the meeting between the Chinese and the American president in California is that these two great powers are capable of working consciously, calculatedly, to a more mature relationship.